I don't know why I feel really silly right now, but I guess I don't like doing videos that seem negative. This has been on my mind a lot lately, and I know I've probably mentioned before that I'm just kind of wanting to get away from the full-time Monday to Friday grind, and uh, I don't know, it's just getting worse and worse, my tolerance level for doing this every day. Um, but yeah, I just... It's never felt natural for me to work for somebody else, but it's comfortable for me because I like some routine and I like predictability. I can't stand surprises, so I'm really torn because as far as budgeting goes and all that, I just find it, it's just the idea of working for myself and not knowing what my next paycheck will be, you know, because you don't get a paycheck, you just have to find ways to make money. Um, that just scares me a lot. So, I don't know, I just, I guess I feel stuck because I don't know what else, I don't know how else to earn an income, earn an income without working for somebody else. I just, I don't want to be committed to being somewhere at a certain time every day. I want to have some freedom, but I also don't want to deal with freelance work. I mean, yeah, I do like doing design, but I want it on my terms. <laughs> um, oh, and I just wanted to mention too, I was just watching a video by um, Reach for Raw. Is it Reach for Raw? With Cookie? Yeah, she's really sweet. I like her. Um, but yeah, she said the same thing that she can't work somewhere, you know, where she's got to be there every day at the same time. And um, just her saying that and the fact that she's not no longer doing that and she works for herself that just kind of made me well up and my eyes started tearing up because yeah here we go again <laughs> i can't believe i'm crying yeah <laughs> probably sounds silly but anyway i just uh yeah this is a i'm realizing this is a hot topic for me <laughs> You know, working a full-time job is not that bad. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying that I'm in a situation that I'm not honoring my authentic self. <laughs> and I don't know, there's something else I'm meant to do. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. And I think <sighs> my authentic self is really trying to push me in that direction. So... I really need to address that and that's one of my goals this year is to really work on that so and starting off with minimalizing and getting rid of my um, I want to have as little stuff as possible so that my mind will feel clear and less cluttered because I already have enough clutter inside my mind as it is so I want our living space to be nice and clean and clear and I have a few projects I'm going to work on that's going to help me figure out what I want to do, what my passion is. Yeah, so yeah, I had to get that off my chest and I think my phone's probably going to cut me off soon. So we'll see if I upload this or not. But anyway, thank you for listening. 